Hello and welcome to a short video on how to use Classroom Screen. If you haven't used this website before, you might find it quite useful for working with your classes. Uh, so to access it, you just simply go to classroomscreen.com. So the free version works perfectly well. Uh, the paid for version will cost £30 a year. Um, but the main advantage is using the free version. Um, obviously, you don't have to pay anything thing but it also means that you can use most of the main features including all of the widgets you see at the bottom of the screen. So how can you use it? Well you can launch it when you're working online and uh, you have a Google Meet running. So we'll have a look at some of the features that this particular website can offer for free. Um, so if we click on the home button you can sign up for free. So I'm logged in, just use my Google account to sign up for free. Um, you're allowed to add three screens for free in the free version. Um, you have the facility to personalise and upgrade etc if you wish to go to the next level. So if we just take a look at the widgets and what we can do with those. So first up we have a background widget. Um, so lots of interesting images that we can choose from for the background. Um, random name generator, quite useful to use with your students. So um, if you just type in a series of names um, and you can save a class list um, within this application. So you can actually save and that will obviously save you time. So you just type in a list of names, click choose and then it will generate a name perhaps to use for question and answer, something like that. Um, so just close that down. Um, so the dice could be quite useful. So one, two or three dice and um, can use perhaps for a game or something similar. Um, sound level is just for you to check the basic sound as you're speaking. Media is quite useful so uh, we can add an image um, which again you could just use a local file for that from your computer. Um, you could add a YouTube video perhaps um, so if you have one that's already a link saved to your clipboard just press command V on a Mac, control V on Windows to paste that in um, and then it will just launch a video when you click play so this is just one of mine as you can see a split screen on a Mac um, and so the benefits of that are you could obviously just talk it through with the class and use it in your teaching um, so further info on the media tab and um, you can also have a webcam and um, just so that you can see an image of yourself which I think helps quite a bit with distance learning just so that uh, students don't feel completely isolated. Um, we can use the QR code generator which is particularly good so again just uh, paste in just for demo purposes I'll paste in um, the YouTube link that I mentioned before um, press enter and then the students can just use their phone snap on that QR code and then watch the video that you tell them to take a look at. Um, other features, obviously we have drawing, so various pens, different colours, um, so again that's quite useful if you want to model something or just write about something. Uh, text tool, again just click and you have editing tools as well. Um, so just type in something there and then we can select it and then just apply the usual edits that uh, you might need. And it is important, I think, not to get the screen too cluttered because with all these widgets, and there are 13 of them, um, it would be quite easy for the screen to become overwhelmed. Um, I quite like this feature so we can just place that within the screen so you could have quiet time, uh, go to settings and then you can say change the background just so it's not quite so invasive and then we have different things, whisper, um, ask a neighbour and work together. So lots to choose from there and of course you can customise. 
traffic lights um, quite a useful feature so for example uh, it might use red um, students turn their microphone off and the get ready to turn it on green question and answer coming up turn your microphone on that uh, would just be one example but uh, I'm sure you could use it for lots of other things as well uh, a timer so you can have multiple timers which can be quite useful so you could just give timers to different groups um, so again you can just set the timer um, however uh, you want it set and then just click on play and then again um, there's different settings that can be applied to the timer so you can customize the color etc and um, you can go back to it and then just create another one so it could be quite useful if you've got different groups and you want to have different timers running or you could be using breakout rooms and you want the students to just switch back or work with a split screen so they can see the the timer that you've actually got running. Um, stopwatch, possibly you could use that. The clock, nothing special about the clock. Uh, you can customise it of course, again with colours etc. Uh, so that is an option. Um, and the calendar, so I think calendar is quite useful. So if you've got a class say um, with an assignment due, you could have that assignment um, just ringed in the calendar. So it's just like quite a good visual reminder. Um, different background colours, you can customise it and you can make top of the calendar transparent so it's not quite so intrusive. So um, I hope you found that helpful and as I say you can use the free version, you can use it in conjunction with Google Classroom and it's something that's uh, a really good website for free. Thank you for watching.